this up. Well, we got, after two or three hours, we got through with it. And I'm, I said, I'm going to give you something that maybe will help you get the E. And oh boy, what? So, I took out one of my flags. And I showed him how it worked. Oh boy, he just took that in his hand, you know. And boy, that was it, you know. That was, well, guess what? About a week or two or three goes by, and I got a letter in the mail. He did not get an A. He got an A plus. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, I've done that two or three times with these people, and every one of these kids that happens to come to me, I give them the play. And the same results. And uh, now, you talk about your national treasure. It's out there. Where is it? It's right in front of us. You see these grandkids? That's the treasure. They are going to take over. They don't realize these kids pushing these carts going to college. Every year it goes up price. But these kids are out there. That's our national treasure in front of us. I believe that. Everyone I try to talk to, they're, they're looking for information, anything they can use. They don't teach them that in school. Some of these kids can't afford it. I says, have you tried ROTC? She said, no, what about it? Tell them. I says, whatever they give you, they have to pay back, but you get your, it, they pay for everything. Well, I'll tell you what. I've got a granddaughter. She was in college about 17 years ago. She graduated one day, got commissioned the second. Third day she got married. Now 17 years has gone by. She's a major in the Air Force. She married a first lieutenant. I says, you make them slow? Yes. <laughs> I says, how much are you getting paid? Wouldn't tell me. I had to go to my attorney to find out how much they made. They didn't want to embarrass us. But I'll tell you what, and being the head of the membership, you know, we used to go all over. I mean, all over. But I'll tell you one story that really happened. And uh, I, uh, a general, Marine general, I was at a big convention in San Francisco. And uh, I just sat down at the table like these tables. And uh, in walks this general, just from Iraq. No, from, uh, not, yeah, Iraq, yeah, the first war. And, uh, geez, he walks by me and he's got four stars on. And I says to my buddy, well, who is that? Well, he just got in here from the Gulf. He just got in. I says, you got to be kidding. I says, uh, uh, I'm going to go up and uh, see if we can sign him up. <laughs> he says, hey, did you hear me? He's got four stars. Well, I says, the most he can do to me is tell me to go to hell. <laughs> okay? I go up and talk to him, explain who I am and everything. And he, this is a big crowd there. Oh, they must have had two or three hundred, they were going to speak and everything. Anyway, he turns around to this table, there's about 15 people there, and he says, you don't mind if this gentleman sits next to me, do you? Well, you don't think anybody in that table is going to say, no, he can't. <laughs> but anyway, I sat down and signed him up. I get ready to leave, and I start leaving, and he had his aid with him. A young captain. He says, doesn't captains count? Turn around and sign him up too. <laughs> <laughs> but all these 
I, I just happened to be where I met a lot of these generals and admirals in that during the years. You want to know something? The most humble people that you ever wanted to meet. I can't tell you how great they were. In fact, I gave Dula one of these when he was 95 years old. He lived another year. And I got to meet a lot of people. And uh, I didn't realize at the time, but 30, 40, 50 years can go by pretty fast. And uh, Carl Sitter was at some of our meetings. I don't know if you remember him. He was at my place and uh, my a uh, uh, couple times. And I'll tell you what happened to Carl. He went in when he was 17 in the Marine. He won the uh, uh, the Silver Star and uh, a couple of decorations in World War II and stayed in for Korea. He was a company commander then. And they were in Korea, and uh, they were fighting in this snow and weather, and uh, he was a company commander. The commander got hit and is dying, and he said, Sitter, you're not a commander. Can you imagine that? And that guy died. Sitter, he says, I got in the Jeep and sat down to the next to this young 18-year-old kid. Just sat down. And we got hit and he got killed. We're on fire. And I had to look in the back of the Jeep. And they had medicinal whiskey and Tootsie Roll. <laughs> so I confiscated that. They got in the reservoir. We had a couple of drinks in him one night, and he got to telling us what they were. And the Chinese were going to overrun.